Hey, please laugh over here. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Welcome back. I'm just blazing through this game, I think. Yeah. We don't know how many stars. Oh, Matt's at six stars. So he got six stars in like 15 minutes of last episode. So. Yeah, I'm having an excellent time playing this. And by playing this, I mean sitting here and watching Matt play it. Yeah. Some of the stars later on, obviously, you know, it gets a little bit more tricksy and sticky. But for now, the Matt's, world uh, Matt's a trendsetter. I don't remember what the name of the world is. The one with the like the water levels that you have to change. Oh, yeah. It's like up and down water levels. Yeah. And with the guys with the little flippers that throw you up to the yeah, next level. Yeah, spatula heads. That, yeah. That world in particular I find very frustrating, but... It's funny, the uh, the image of the city in the background of that map is like a literal just like picture of a city on the internet. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> it's just a JPEG. What was just, I watching yeah, the other day? Stretch JPEG. I was watching, it was, it was Super Mega. I was watching an episode of Super Mega and they're playing... Uh, um, one of the Sonic games, Sonic Adventure 2, I think. Oh, I'm watching that series, too. And, uh, at the beginning of the game where, like, Sonic is falling from space or whatever, and it's just, the, the, the picture of Earth is just a JPEG. Yeah, that's Or, funny. like, like, the, as he's falling into the city, it's, like, from, like, the first iteration of Google Earth. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> love it. I yeah, absolutely I get... love it. I, uh... Old video games I just I find so charming. Just like the way they worked around some of the... A lot of creative, like... Solutions to yeah, these things. Like yeah, like corner cutting, man. Because nowadays, you know, you get 200 people whose job it is to, like, 3D render a city in the background that you never actually visit. But that's your job. Yeah. Freak, man. When I was a kid, I used to think the only way to get that star, or maybe I was just too lazy, was to get the owl and take it to the top. <laughs> and so I would just like let him carry me around the whole mother effing map until I was like even kind of close. That's funny. I remember just like grabbing onto that little sucker and just be like, take me to the rainbow, bro. I remember like, I don't, I'm trying to remember like when I first learned of some of like the secrets, like that you can ride the owl or you can break the wall here and there's a star. It's just it's like. It's funny because I yeah. tell you, I just feel like I was, I was it's born just like, with the knowledge. Yeah. You know what I mean? I felt like I was like. A polar bear just wakes up and he's like, all right, time to hunt, follow mom, and we hibernate in the winter. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I was born, and I was like, all right, shoot yourself at this corner to get this star, bounce the piece off, it's right there. And it's just like, I had a group of friends, you know, it's like me and my, my two best friends, we all had an N64, and we all had the game, and it's just like, I don't know who was figuring out the stuff first. Yeah. Or, you know, like, who we were hearing it from at school, or just, like, where this knowledge was coming from. Yeah. But it was just, like, everyone was just knowing it at a time, and, like, and we weren't really on the internet that much. I actually have a pretty vivid memory of discovering that one. Of that one right there? Yeah. It, it, we were just like, what do you do? What do you do? It has to do with the cannon, you know, because that's the clue. Yeah, and blast, out, blast away the wall. Mm -hmm. Just shoot yourself at every part of the wall. Yeah. Um, but I remember we hit it and we were like, Whoa, you broke the wall! <laughs> it was really awesome. That's cool. In a world of, like, restrictions in video games, when you when you break the rules, it's like, Yeah. yeah. Whoa, dude. Holy shit. You got it. Hell yeah, dude. Bro, you're dialing in. Yeah. I mean, this is already, this is your third star this episode. Like <laughs> five minutes in, maybe? You might hit the top, like, 100 speed runs and not even know it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm not a trained professional, but I hang with the best of them. Star Wars. Red coins. Oh, red coin here is a little tricky. Yeah. It's it got you front bad. ways, sideways, back ways. I'm just gonna go for the hundred coins here too. Might as well pair them. They pair nicely together like a fine. Is the hundred coin one? Well, you can get the hundred coin and then keep going. Yeah, that's the, the only one. one. Exactly, it's the only kind of star. And in fact, um, it spawns right where Matt's at right now. Once yeah. you get it, right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember syrup sandwiches and crumb allowances. That's the eight coin star that spawns there. Oh, is it? Hundred hundred coin spawns right on you. Oh, you're right. So uh, we fucked up. I tell you once again, it's just the speedrunners have tainted my my memory of this game because they just get them at the same time. <laughs> yeah, they they're like they're there when the star is there. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I thought you were gone there. Nope. 
Can I tell you another fun freaking like early early memory um, memory uh, video game memory? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Early, early video game memory. Hit me with it. All right. This is about Sonic the Hedgehog. No, 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 no. Okay. Back when I was just a bambino, um, there was a tire shop that my mom used to go to to get car repairs and shit. And they had an original Donkey Kong arcade machine inside of this tire shop. Oh hell yeah! And I remember being a kid and playing on that Donkey Kong machine. And the original Donkey Kong is pretty hard. Yeah, it's and when so you're a hard. kid, you're not good at shit. And so I can never beat the first level, and then the guy at the tire shop, like the owner guy, who was like a pretty big, uh, what I remember to be a strong Italian man, not sure if that's the truth, but that's what my brain's telling me, um, he was like, hey kid, like, hey, let me show you how it's done. And then he puts a quarter in, and he like beats the first level, and he's just like, you just gotta make sure you jump at the right time, I don't understand? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, alright, well next time do better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me catch you losing again. <laughs> or your mother can't come back. So I left the store and I never played again for fear of failure. Wow. Not really. <laughs> I was like, that, that wasn't a good story. That <laughs> yeah. made me sad. No, I've never either. touched a video game since. No, I just remember like looking at him like the man was a prophet. Like, holy... Yeah, God. just like, he in beat a level. Oh. <laughs> just blast up to the pole. Actually, it's too risky. Yeah, don't, don't do a risk. You're at 82, don't risk it now. No shame in just walking back and just doing the literal walk of shame. <laughs> nice I tell you what though, this N64 games look look good upscaled to HD. Yeah, this this, this game I was think I was thinking like, dang, it, it looks a lot cleaner than I remember it. That's because it is. Yeah, they took out all the dirty words. Like all the time when Mario says bitch, which is a lot. Fuck you. It's more than I expected, to be honest. More than I remember. Every time someone mentions Bowser, you can hear Mario just under his breath say bitch. And Bowser, and he's like, so long, gay Bowser. Slurs, yeah. man. They got rid of that in this one. Yeah. You're kidding me. You didn't know that? I can't remember what he says. He's, but uh, it's funny because it's like almost like a tacit admi admission by Nintendo that's like, yeah, that is what he was saying. <laughs> yeah. What's that? That old thing? It's like it's canon if they acknowledge it or something. Like yeah. That. If they if they if they do something to change it, then yeah, it's canon. They're like they listen to it. And they're like, you know what? That's kind of hard to deny. That's, yep. <laughs> like, there's probably some guy. On the North American localization team, that's just like. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, he's a legend. He's an internet legend because that's a pretty funny. I meme. would, I would love, I would just love someone, even unofficially, who like worked on the localization team, just be like, okay, listen, this is what happened. <laughs> I was uh, after a couple brews. I was watching the game, and I was like, you know, it'd be really awesome if Mario was pretty. Not understanding of other people's lifestyles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if, like, Nintendo was just like, okay, listen, canonically, Mario did say that, but also canonically, Bowser is gay. <laughs> I would absolutely love that. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> and it's just like, why is he kidnapping Peach? He's just like, well, who's into Mario? Because <laughs> <laughs> guess what happens when you take the bait? The fish bites. <laughs> Mario's the big fish. He's like, oh no, Mario. I oh, I didn't want to see you. Oh, no. Oh, come jump on me. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my tail. Swing me. <laughs> Swing me around, Dad. <laughs> I'm wearing my spiked handcuffs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. He missed. That's a cute bird, though. I love it. <laughs> jump on, sit on me. <laughs> Is it just A? Yeah, you, you just have to A. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was trying to hit B. Yeah, dude, but freaking, uh... Do you think, uh, this, this owl here. is related to the, uh, Ocarina of Time owl? Yes. That owl's just, kind of a creep. Just I love him. You missed your shot. You'll never get another shot like that. Except for... Uh, Can you control uh, him? Yeah. Could you always control him? Yeah. Would you just sit and wait? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> After 20 some odd years of my entire life playing this game, I never knew that. I love I, that. I thought you were just a slave to his movement. Remember when I said earlier, literally in this, uh, maybe this is our last episode? Yeah, yeah you just I was like, wait yeah, you for just, him. You just kind of wait for him to go to the right place. 
I just said that shit. I mean it. I like the version of Toad in this game. He's cute. Yeah. Just when we thought you couldn't squeeze any more stars into a 15 minute segment, you already hit it again. We're not even at, we're just like, we're just at 10 minutes. <laughs> and you're at 6 this episode. <laughs> you're fucking killing it. This is great. I love this. stars and, yeah. I liked our, our Mario Sunshine episodes, and we will finish the game. Yeah, I hope we do. But like... It's hard to play. It's, it's yeah, it's some some of the uh, shines kind of feel like a slog, and it's mostly because I never played through the game originally. Um, it's funny because it holds some nostalgic value for me, but like, I think I've already gotten all of it out of my system because I never got that far. Yeah. yeah. I've played through parts of it just with like at friends and stuff, but like, I, I, I did beat this game. Yeah, this is hard. This one's hard. I, I remember this never being that pleasant. This yeah, is always one stuff. of the last stars I get. Well then, don't worry about it. Yeah. Just get your hat and get the skedaddle out of here. Goodbye, cool world! He <laughs> 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 gets ten feet from the bottom, pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's dark. Hey, what? What? So when I was younger, um, I thought those the feet of the bombs were like beaks, and I'm like, I wonder why I never see those. So like, hmm. it's like a parrot beak. You yeah, see? yeah, I, I can see that. So it's like the front, like the actual foot is like the front part of the beak, and then the leg is like the mouth, like the bottom jaw. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah I don't know why I thought that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it. Yeah, if you're just a dumb kid. And kids are shitty. What's the what's the bare minimum number of stars you need to beat Bowser? Sixty, I think. The the third, the biggest and baddest. Yeah, yeah, like beat beat the game. I think sixty. That sounds right. Which okay. is funny because it's only half in the whole Tazam Gazam. I mean, for like Mario Odyssey, you need like a tenth yeah. of all of the moons. Bro, you're kind of like slowing down. What's the strat? I'm getting 100 coins. Oh, um, okay, my bad. I'll shut up. Yeah. Let the man work. Boom. Boom ba boom. Oops. I remember that the feeling as a child being like afraid of that bomb explosion was pretty real. Yeah, I remember that. It's like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah! I'll tell you what though, the, the spherical objects in this game are so appealing to look at. Yeah. Mal. Especially because like everything else, like the like polygons in there are like really visible. But, like the spheres look good. Like look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. They just like really stand out. Also the trees. The trees do look incredible. The, those tree textures. Are I, I think the trees actually used to be kind of a little bit rough looking, and the um, the three D model or the HD version is kind of it helps them look. Yeah. They're, pretty they're, pretty they're a squiz. Finest. Pretty a squiz. That's for Diz Am sure. Oh no. Oh. I did it on you gonna you gonna do the green demon challenge? Oh, I've heard about that. That's the Game Grumps did it. Oh yeah. They what is them. that? You you get on the turtle shell, and one of the trees, if you climb to the top, an extra life comes out. And so it's the, the one that follows you. The, yeah, the the green demon challenge. I, I can't remember if it's you get the hundred coins or you get the uh, um. You, I guess you don't need the turtle shell, but you get the hundred coin. It's no, it's the it's the red coins. You get the red coins while this extra life is following you, because it will follow you wherever you go, hmm. and you have to like strategically move so that it doesn't. <laughs> Damn, you have to strategically move so it doesn't hit you. Um, and uh, Aaron tried it on Game Grumps. It was like advertising really for the channel, but he he couldn't do it. He got pretty close a couple times, but it's. It's tough because I think the max velocity of the mushroom is faster than Mario's. You have to just make a lot of turns. Hmm. I'll tell you what though, the movement in this game is amazing. I think so. I think that's what makes this game so great in the first place is just like, the movement is simple, easy and playful, but like, when you break it down, the amount of parkour and nuts shit you can pull off is yeah. incredible. That's the best thing about Mario games in general. Like Mario Odyssey is like, you know, if you've got kids that are like, you know, five or six, maybe a little bit older, but they could beat it. Like they could get enough of the 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 moons to to beat the game or to get pretty far with their parents' help. But like um, to get some of the later moons that are like just 
the, the padding when you're still wanting to play the game. It's like you could you gotta pull off some crazy shit to get some of them. Yeah. And sometimes you just pull off crazy shit and it's like here's a thousand coins just because you did this cool thing that no one else can really do. Yeah. That's bigger brother material. That's when I yeah. I tug on this shirt and I say, Will you pay this? Happy one, baby? happy please. please. But it's just like that's what's great is because there's no difficulty. Like you don't select your difficulty. Mario is just like Anyone can play it and have a pretty good time, but if you invest a lot of time into the game and get really good at it, like, there's payoffs for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's dope. Did you talk about the balloons? I was kind of... Balloons? The balloons. Uh, Luigi's balloon minigame. Oh, no. That's a true thing, too, in I, Mario Odyssey. The only, thing, the only reason I know that is because of Donkey. Yeah. I know, we're referring to a lot of YouTube channels today, but that's fine. I don't care about talking about we're people fans. I, I that, I mean, that's to. why we do. Well, that's why we're trying to do this, because we're fans of yeah. people who make those. We things. love it, and we want to... And we think we're better than them. <laughs> <laughs> See something and do it better. We're out bringing something to the table that they don't have, which is... Talent? Low quality... <laughs> Uh, low effort. Less experience. Less, low yeah. effort! Less experience. I'm busting my ass over here. And cheese enchiladas. <laughs> Matt's gotten 12 stars in like 8 minutes. Low effort. Oh, the I'm slander. Just we're doing it because we're we're fans of Let's Plays. And because we're friends and we like to play. Yeah. yeah. And we hope that other people just like it. We're, we're trying to bring good vibes. Yeah, it feels great to just do something creative in general. Like, with your friends, making a YouTube channel. It's a good time. And I think that like one of the best things about doing a YouTube channel like this is it's just, it's kind of like like a f not physical copy, like a diary of like, hey, you know, let me go back and reminisce yeah. on them good times. You know what I mean? Oh, I Watch a video of me and the boys playing this. Oh man, that was a funny goof. I can't believe I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. A, it's a journal, it's a diary. And then we get to share it with other people, some of which are strangers. Are you guys reading my diary? Yeah. Are you guys reading my journal? Yeah. <laughs> said, Dear Diary. Took off my video. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Diary, like and subscribe. <laughs> Dear Diary, show this video to your stepmom. <laughs> um, Are you going to have trouble getting that? No. Okay. No. He'll just blast himself at it. Alright, buddy. Yeah, he do be blasting himself. <sighs> as much as possible. One time Matt was blasting himself in a public bathroom. <laughs> he got arrested. What <laughs> <Up> his mugshot? <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna put there. Just a mug, a picture of a mug. <laughs> Here's my picture on it. <gasps> like in the office, they do that. <laughs> what? Ooh! Sniped it! Oh Jump shit! Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't oh. die. <laughs> How funny would that have been? <laughs> I already got all the damn coins, too. Yeah, you can't heal. You just gotta bounce. My man. There we go. Hell yeah, boys. She called a wrap on this one. That was a, a record-breaking eight stars this episode. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, Matt. Yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.